Hi, I'm Tom. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to it, this is my shed of Zeds where I convert old BMWs to electric and generally get a lot of things wrong, including destroying this electric motor. Um, I posted a video last week um, showing um, the dismantling, the, the dismantling, the dismantling of my DIY EV down to the part where I found that this motor was seized. Everyone said you're not going to know what's happened to it until you take it apart. So in this short video, because I'm a bit short of time, I'm going to take the back off and see if we can work out what's wrong. So this is the rear motor of a Mitsubishi Outlander Hybrid, FEV. Um, you can see that there's two sizes of bolt here, one for the cap over the resolver, one for this back plate that goes all the way around. This is all a little bit wobbly. I might have to uh, shore that up a little bit before I get the... Oh, hello! <laughs> Before I get the impact driver on it, um, stay. Yeah, that's not gonna do it any good. Right, hold that thought. Stabilized. So let's start off by getting off the um, case for, or the cover for the resolver. Um, if you do like this sort of stupid stuff, please do like and subscribe. I always forget to say that early in the videos. Not really expecting to see anything in here, but you never know. Let's pry that off. Yep, what a surprise, it's a resolver. Um, all looks fine. No obvious signs of damage there. So, not sure if we have to disconnect that in order to remove the back plates, but we shall see. I've done no research before doing this at all in my usual gung ho, have a go manner. And let's be honest, this motor's balked anyway, or at least it seems to be. Let's take off the resolver connector and then that's at least disconnected. and find just levering a little bit against that clip helps these things to come out but it doesn't want to
Oh. I guess those small bolts could be holding it in as well. Let's whip those out as well. Don't really want to change the relationship between the resolver and the end plate having spent so long setting sync offset should this be fixable no separation I'll get back to you. Brute force. I just hit it hard with a big hammer and it started to come off. <laughs> it's pulling stuff with it. Do I undo that resolver thing or do I pull the whole lot out? This is where I'd like to have some of you on speed dial. Maybe I do, hold on. Strong suspicion I've screwed this up already because I'm pretty sure these bits inside the resolver are meant to be bent and in pieces. So I think I've destroyed the resolver on this motor. Whatever, I don't think it's going back together, but then I was pretty sure it wasn't going to go back together anyway. And so this is just an interesting uh, deconstruction now. Albeit I probably could get hold of another resolver. Let's take the rest of the resolver out. And now that this is a bit loose, see if we can get this connector apart. Always good to have some spare parts. Still got the, uh, that one on there. Well, you can't see any of this, of course. Excellent Hollywood quality camera work as usual. Now this circlet, bring my torch. Let me show you in here now. Whoa. 
there's a circlip in there that needs to come off which again I should have taken off before I started hammering this thing out but you know learn through destruction I'll pop the camera down while I get that off and bring you back when I've got the faceplate off well there we go I'd be interested to know what people think whether this tells us anything but one thing watch this bearing going round um, that bearing <laughs> well it is not round <laughs> um, that bearing is completely shagged uh, yeah I'm pretty sure it shouldn't do that either um, see if I can get that off and we can have a closer look so it's pretty clear what's failed here that bearing is I mean look at that look at the amount of play in that it's just completely oval um, the race is dead um, I have a strong suspicion yeah look the plastic cage has oh hello look, the plastic cage has melted completely melted that bearing has got very very hot and I suspect it is because of not um, lateral pressure but longitudinal pressure I think that because there isn't enough um, there isn't enough sort of lateral strength in the coupler there's a bit of wiggle in the coupler laterally that would apply that sort of pressure to it unless it was like really really a lot of degrees off but I think when I, I actually trimmed down the um, the um, shaft of the gearbox to make it all fit together I think I didn't trim it enough and I suspect there was a bit of longitudinal pressure in this direction pushing this shaft and creating excess heat on this bearing which has ultimately killed it so and you can just tell from the color of the grease that this has got very very hot everything else kind of looks okay uh, and so I suspect this motor is actually well would have been fixable if it hadn't been run with the rotor in contact with everything else um, how much damage has that done no way to tell um, and now that I've accidentally destroyed the resolver is it worth getting this fixed to see if it's it can run again D don't know um, but yeah at least we know what went wrong now and what we have to fix the next time to not well at least I think we know what to fix so as not to destroy another motor so that's it for this short video quick tear down quick investigation not quite sure what's going on with my new motor I got a phone call from the courier company to organize delivery um, and then got an email and a refund from the person I bought it from saying they couldn't find the part so um, I'll need to phone the courier uh, on Tuesday post Queen's death bank holiday uh, and phone and email the seller as well and work out what's gone on there. Um, but yeah, I'm in the market for a new motor. I'm going to put a new motor in whatever. I don't want to put this one back in and have it fail again. Um, so I'm going to in the market for a new motor. I'm certainly going to fix that. We'll do the experiment where we line it all up in a stack and see what happens, make sure it all fits. Uh, and obviously I'll trim down that shaft a little bit more and uh, yeah useful I think let me know what you think thanks for watching if you like this stuff please do subscribe bye bye